Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. So today I have my April 2021 empties. So if you'd like to see some products that I've gone through and if I would repurchase, then please keep on watching. Just like it said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. I also do a live stream the first Sunday of the month at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell, check out my communities tab, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Okay. Wow. I can't believe we're like in the middle of April. It's crazy. But anyway, um, I have five products here that I've used up and yeah, I feel like I did pretty good this month. But anyway, first thing is the Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Bath Salts. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love these. They are scent free um the only ingredient is pure himalayan natural salt 100 percent naturally pure um it's wbm foundation um anyway 100 percent quality satisfaction guaranteed all that kind of stuff anyway it's supposed to soften and heal cracked skin reduce swelling get rid of dead skin relax body cleanses well it eliminates odor i love this um it is let's see one pound Anyway, yes, I already repurchased this. I ended up having to go to a different Dollar Tree to find this, but absolutely love this stuff. Um, and it's nice because a lot of times when I'm in the tub and if I want to do like a bath salt or something, um, it I can't like wash my hair. I can't, you know, I have to like get out and shower afterwards with this. It doesn't leave any kind of residue or anything. So yes, definitely, definitely recommend this. The salt range. Um, Himalayan pink salt bath salt. If you're looking for a super affordable and really, really good bath salt, check out your local Dollar Tree. See if you can find this. It's really, really good. Guaranteed. Okay, uh, another thing from Dollar Tree is the uh, Personal Care Shave Cream Lavender and Jasmine. It's supposed to be uh, compared to EOS Shave Cream. Seven fluid ounces. This was okay. Um, it left like a weird film in my bathtub and kind of clogged up my razor. But if you like the EOS, um, I have had people tell me that this is like the same. It is cruelty free. Um, anyway, it's a good product. It's just, I prefer more of a lathering, um, shave cream. This doesn't do that. So I prefer like a body wash or something when I shave because I don't know, I'm weird. But if you like something that's going to be super moisturizing, has a really nice light, light scent, and yeah, I think you would like the Personal Care Super Smooth Shave Shave Cream. They had a couple of different scents, but the purple one is the Lavender and Jasmine. So I personally wouldn't repurchase this, but it's just because I like a certain kind of shave cream and this wasn't it for me, but it's a good product. If you don't like one that lathers um, or has like suds or anything, then I'm sure you'd really, really like this. Really, really good product, just not my fave, so. Okay, next is the Herbal Essences Refresh Blue Ginger in the Shower Foam Conditioner. I love this stuff. Super lightweight, very, very moisturizing. Um, I might have a second one of these in my stash. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, really, really loved this. It did moisturize the hair and scalp without leaving any kind of heavy feeling. It didn't weigh the hair down or anything like that. And it smells really, really good. Um, I tried another foam conditioner, the Pantene. And last week, uh, when my declutter went up, I actually gave, ended up giving that away to my sister-in-law. So, um, so far sounds like she likes it, but yeah, if you're looking for a really good foam conditioner, the herbal essences one is great. No heavy residue, but it moisturizes really, really nicely. I like this stuff a lot. Okay. Next is the Vagisil odor block deodorant powder. Um, gynecologist and clinically tested, um, hundred percent talc free. I did not like this stuff at all. I will not be repurchasing this super heavenly, heavily scented. And if you've ever watched any of my videos, I like scent. I like perfume. I like body spray. I like body washes that have a lot of fragrance. This was just too much. I do have to say there was no irritation downstairs or anything but this was really good to put in like fat roll folds or underneath the uh, chest area or wherever so it was okay a little bit gritty uh, but the thing that turned me off was the fragrance 
It smells like if you mix old lady and cheap motel room, this is what this smells like to me. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, this Vagisil powder, it's a no-go. I would never repurchase this and I wouldn't recommend it. It just smells gross to me. I don't like it. And then the last thing is the Old Spice Bare Glove Antiperspirant. Um, Taylor Wynn, um, and there's a few other YouTubers, they really recommend the Old Spice Antiperspirants and deodorants. I'm, I'm an antiperspirant fan. Um, trying out a natural deodorant right now. But um, anyway, this stuff is amazing. Totally out. Um, I actually have a backup of this. It smells so good. Um, what is the scent of this? I can't remember. I will, if I can find it, I will put it right here on the screen for you. But this kept me dry all day long. It smells really good. It's not super masculine or super feminine. So I do think that anybody could wear this. So if you're looking for a really good antiperspirant, the Old Spice Bear Glove, definitely, definitely recommend. It is amazing. Really, really love this stuff. So yeah. So there are two things I wouldn't repurchase, the Vagisil powder and then the personal care shave cream, but everything else I would repurchase. already have the Himalayan bath salt backup, already have the Bear Glove antiperspirant um, backup. So yeah, really, really good empties this month, I think. But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Um, the stuff that I did like, I will go ahead and link down below for you. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, but it's there if you want it. And just so you know, I do have a Macari page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have a little Facebook group where we kind of hang out and chat and like post our good finds and stuff like that. So I'll have that listed down below as well if you'd like to check it out. And of course, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.